Hello everyone, this is Jason Fain from Instructional Design and Development and today I'm going to show you how to black back up your Blackboard course. So to begin you need to start off in the Build tab of Blackboard and then you're going to scroll down till you see the Manage course under Designer Tools and you're going to click it. Now once you're here you're going to see the little backup menu. Go ahead and select that and then click the backup course button. Then it's going to say that it was added to the backup queue so click OK. And once that's finished you're going to go ahead and you're going to see um, your title and the user so in this case my backup here and the date and time that the backup was created. The next thing that we're going to do is save this file out. So we're going to save as file and then we're going to choose a place to put it. So I'm going to go ahead and just put it in my files and then just click OK. Now this will take a little bit of time and then once it's complete we can go into the file manager and we can go ahead and download our backup. So let's go ahead and do that now. Under designer tools, again under the build tab, we're going to find something called file manager. Go ahead and click that button now. Once that's clicked, there's going to be a My Files button at the very top. Go ahead and click that because remember that's where we saved our backup to. Once we see that, you're going to see our backup down here at the very bottom. My Teaching Online template, DLAT, and then Tuesday, the date that the, the backup was created, and it ends in .bak. So now that we see that, we're going to click the Actions Link button, and then we're going to go ahead and download this. So once you click that, you're going to see something pop up. It's going to say Save File. So I'm going to click OK. I'm going to save it to my desktop for now, and then you just click Save. OK, so now that that's complete, uh, this is my little download manager. You can see it's finished. I'm going to close this out, and then I'm going to go ahead and delete all of these backups. Otherwise, it gets a little overwhelming on the a server end. If you're creating backups, let's say, every day, and you're not removing all of this, it, it'll get to be a pretty significant size after a while. So what I'm going to do is click this checkbox here, and then click Delete, click OK and it'll get rid of it from my files. Now another thing I'm going to do is let me go ahead and extend this menu out again is go back to your manage course under designer tools click the backup um, option here and then go ahead and check off the backup that you made and then click delete and the reason why you want to do this is like I said it can get to be very very large if you kept all those files on the server but just to show you my desktop real quick and show you that I still have it, if I move this over here, you can see my my teaching online backup is now on my computer and it's no longer on my Blackboard course. So in the case of an emergency, I'm good to go and I can be ready to roll whenever um, we can restore those courses for you.